even that is sufficient. Yeah. Even that is big. That is big. That is big. That is big. Uh, Was there any point in time when you thought this thing that I'm doing, it's too, it's too hard, it's too complicated, I don't want to do it anymore? There have been moments like that, especially the one time that I felt it was, I think it was two years ago, a group of women congregated at the National Theatre and we were protesting. At that time it was just a mere suggestion, protesting the intention to remove age limit ah. and the way it was pitched at that time was it was for judges and we need you know uh, that legal longevity we need uh, you know senior legal minds and everything and we said you know we're smelling the rat we know where this will go once you open the pandora's box it's going to go all the way up it never goes down it goes no. up and so we organized and went to the national theater we followed the law we told the police we said we wanted what we wanted to do was march around parliament and pray that they dare not touch the constitution to remove age, age limit limits. for judges right we even went to visit the chief justice and he said we've never even asked for that what we're asking for is an increase in our budget mm -hmm. is an increase in judges mm -hmm. because we have such a backlog mm -hmm. of cases mm -hmm. we don't need what we need right now so anyhow we congregated mm -hmm. and even as we were coming one by one already the national theater was surrounded by mm -hmm. trucks and trucks of policemen and that for me the, the sadness for me was how did my country become like that a place where i can't say what's on my mind right right and coming from, because I said, I've, I've, I mean, I've been in this industry where we speak out, where we pick it, where we demonstrate, and we would just call each other up and we would be in a space and we would say what we needed to say and walk away. And the next thing you do it and you walk away, but now you can't even. Mm. And that for me was a sadness. That for me was a point where I didn't necessarily want to give up, but I just felt, how did my country walk to this space and how do we lift ourselves up to the space where we had intended to go, which is a better democracy day by day. I felt that heaviness. Right. I feel the heaviness each time I hear of a woman who once again has been beaten. Like, for all the years, all the work we've done so that violence is not a daily and lived experience of women, every time I hear one more woman, every time I see pictures of another battered woman, that breaks my heart. It's, it's those kinds of things that, that repeat themselves when it's one year after another where we don't have a marriage and divorce bill that would enable men and women have stronger legal protections in the marital institutions. But year after year, any time it is raised, it's shot down again. But one can't lose hope. No. Because if we do, then what are the we The battle here for? is lost. Yep. Yeah. So yes, there are moments, moments of sadness of what am I doing in this space? Mm. We lift ourselves up because we are community. I, I'm not in this alone. No. And so we remind each other again of our goal and, and let's go, let's push, let's go on. And that's where, you know, belonging to a community, a, di a diaspora, a, an African feminist movement, a, a global feminist movement, that's where it helps because then you know these struggles are not yours alone. That every woman around the globe is dealing with this and they're pushing on. What personal characteristics do you think have uh, kept you going even when you feel like, I want to stay in my bed today, but... I can't. Yes, but I can't. And I'll go back again to dad's example that he set for us growing up because the church is one of the most political institutions oh man there are fights for days and we saw daddy trudge through them yes there were moments that he felt broken and we saw his humanness but mom was there as a support he he, he huddled around himself those that would help him push through so hope is one hope and tenacity and focus and i think a centeredness knowing who you truly are and therefore that whatever wins come you can still stand and be true to who you really are okay i think those things are important to me now that you know what you know yes give advice to your 16 year old self ah, yes don't compare yourself you're the only you and be happy with you you will never be perfect and perfection is overrated there's nobody it's an illusion <laughs> in this world who's told so don't even chase that yeah just be be true to you find out who you really are and 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 learn to like that person because i think 
especially when you're beginning out as a teenager you, you you're wondering who and i did go through moments of wondering who i really was was i the extrovert that i was at school was i the introvert that i was at home who was i and i i think you know if you're not settled in that and able to like yourself mm -hmm. you're good you're bad you're ugly and we all have shades of gray that until you're able to face yourself and like yourself you will go through life struggling there were moments i struggled with self-doubt there were moments even most recently like seven five seven years ago where my failure defined me so i, I would tell that 16 year old you're not your failure mm. you may have failed you are not your failure therefore don't let that hold you back love yourself truly and know you are not perfect you fall you fail but you rise up each time what advice would you give 30 year old jackie 30 year old jackie was at the cusp of i was going to do my masters and um hadn't yet married i married two years later i would tell my 30 year old self come into your own look at you i'm proud of you because maybe not enough people are told you're doing a good job. You're doing well. And don't settle. There's still more. Keep reaching, keep reaching, but be happy. Be proud of the steps you've taken. Be proud of the moment that you're in, that you're able to contribute what you can with your talents, with your gifts, with your career. Be happy to contribute and don't ever settle. No. Just keep going, keep learning, keep growing, keep renewing yourself.